Well, as geopolitical tensions escalate, the upcoming BRICS summit under Russia's chairmanship promises to be critical for its members. The 16th edition of the summit is to take place from the 22nd of October in Kazan. BRICS used to refer to Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, but now the group expanded and in January, of course, it now includes Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. So on one hand are China, Russia and Iran, which have expressed strong anti-Western positions. And on the other hand, members like Saudi Arabia, UAE, Egypt maintain a delicate balance between their Western partnerships and Russia. Apart from the newly expanded BRICS, Cuba is among those countries who want to join the group of growing economies. The country's foreign minister uh, wrote to the Russian president Vladimir Putin for the nation's incorporation into BRICS. The Caribbean country's bid to join the bloc comes shortly after Azerbaijan confirmed that it is also pushing for BRICS membership following a meeting between Putin and the Azerbaijani president Ilham Aliyev. Meanwhile, Sri Lanka is also planning to submit an official request to join the BRICS grouping. Even though Sri Lanka's newly elected president, Anura Kumara Desanayake, will not be able to attend the summit, its Ministry of Foreign Affairs will participate at the official level. Membership of BRICS is invitation only and multiple countries were given the chance to join at the start of this year. BRICS was founded in 2009 to foster closer ties among Russia, China, India and Brazil and now comprises nine members with 45% of the world's population. The BRICS nations account for up to 28% of global exports. The, com the combined GDP of the member states exceeds that of the G7 nations.